Who let Gen X off the hook? Why are we talking shit about those guys? My good sir, first and foremost, let me say thank you for acknowledging the existence of Gen X. You see, we of course are the forgotten generation, and for the most part, everyone ignores that we exist, or they just want to leave us alone and not mess with us at all. Now, to answer your question, who let Gen X off the hook? Well, I don't exactly see it the same way as you. I don't think we were let off the hook at all. I think that no one wants to mess with us. And there are two main reasons for that. Number one is you're all dependent on us in one way or the other. The boomers, as they get older, get ready to retire, probably transition to Valhalla soon, they become more and more dependent on us as the days go by. They also know in great detail what kind of a monster they created, and they're not ready to stick their hand in that bear trap. The younger ones, well, you've never become independent from us, relying on us for everything from your cell phone bills to your insurance, or even sometimes the roof over your head. And why would you bite the hand that feeds you? Now, the second part, and probably the scarier part, is what we Gen X are. We are the most rabid and feral generation ever. You see, the way that we were raised, forced into this place called the outside, we were left to our own vices to learn how to survive. And because of that, we've become inventive and creative in all aspects of our lives. As far as our methodologies, some of them probably don't align with that at the Geneva Convention. And yes, we did want to live our lives just like William Wallace was, to be a farmer, to be left alone in some far off place, but of course, if you invite us into a battle, we will come and we will probably obliterate you in methods that you don't want to experience. So, I think that answers most of your question, and I do appreciate you thinking about us, but I also appreciate you leaving us alone as well.